anyway. That nigga recording like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> no, stop playing, my boy. Hey, anyway, <laughs> chat, I ain't gonna lie, man. I think hip hop is over. Um, yo, the only these niggas get d- playing with this devilish image that they don't live just becomes like, like, y- you know what made me think this? I'm gonna show you what made me think this. I'm gonna show you the video that made me think this. Like, when they were a little bit younger and they're playing it like, oh, we're devil worshippers, which you know they're not. Uh, I'm not saying it was ever cute, but you're like, oh, they're edgy. They're counterculture. What made me realize, I'm like, yo, this nigga is approaching 30 and he's still trying to jack the devil thing was Uzi doing the I want to rock while dressed in all red with some devil looking hair. This shit right here. I'm sorry, bro. Once I seen this shit, I was just like, yo, brother, I ain't gonna lie to you. Even the devil want to send you to hell and not his version of hell for this shit. (laughs) Like, brother, nah, 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 brother, nah. Nah, brother. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, the devil looking like this like I would never rock my hips. That's what the devil's saying. I would never rock my hips, nigga. (laughs) Even the devil is like, nah, nigga. No, 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 nigga. You getting out of fucking hand right now. You're getting out of hand. Well, you're not fucking with the imp shuffle? I am not fucking with the devilish, like, like, who else is promoting the devil shit? We're not fucking with it no more, like. (laughs) <laughs> we're over it okay it was cool when we thought y'all were mysterious we've all realized y'all are regular people trying to per- be counterculture to get kids to buy in all right we get it it worked for a while but here's the funny thing y'all are all huge and successful you're not soundcloud rappers no more give it up all right <laughs> the devil don't like you and you don't like him all right and when you stub your toe you say ah oh, oh god you don't say oh devil okay we don't want to hear that shit no more, brother. I'm just being honest with you, okay? I get the fishnets. I get the crop tops. Y'all could do whatever, but the devil don't like you, and y'all don't like him, okay? Y'all stub y'all toe. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? That's what y'all are saying. Like, listen, we watching this shit like, you st- really? It only works for a little Nas X? No, it worked for a little while when they were younger. Uh, that shit corny they worked for a little while when they were younger trying to tr- like again even when Jay Z did some stuff I wouldn't say necessarily he was kind of doing some imagery with devil but the Illuminati shit he did it very on a subtle level like subtle like you would leave some like signs there right nigga when you dress in with a spiked hair two different eye colors red everywhere and fire in the background you might as well just tattoo devil on your forehead or 666, my nigga. The satanic shit is kind of dead. Ne- Who remember, else is doing the satanic shit? Them to, hell, to, to hell? You don't huh? remember that? Huh? You remember when Uzi was like, I'm taking all y'all to hell? You don't, <laughs> you don't remember that? <laughs> and the crowd stopped cheering. They started looking at him like, no, you're not, nigga. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're fucking not. <laughs> that's when artists, that's when, let me tell you, that shit was popping around the time of SoundCloud rappers having the kids in their palm. And a lot of them wanted to create cults. Cults. Literally cults. X wanted to create a cult. I say that all the time. X wanted to create a cult. Uzi wanted to create a cult. All these things wanted to create cults. And they thought because fans love them so much. And you got to imagine it's kids. Kids don't know how to think. You know who loves Uzi now? It's not the 16-year-old. Yeah, they'll do the I Want to Rock Dance the 16-year-olds on TikTok. But the ones who've loved Uzi since Money Longer. Money Longer jumped in 2015, 2016. Bro, it's like eight years later. So even if they were 16, then nigga, they're 24. They're out of college. You think they're going to be listening to Uzi like, oh, we're going to hell now? Okay, Uzi, bring us to hell. It's over. The satanic shit, they're just looking at you like, this nigga really want to be weird. I'm telling you, it's only it's only a smart, small part of people's lives that you get to manipulate or do whatever you want to do before they snap out of it. They grow up. And to be honest... The age group of 14 to 18 is very malleable. You could tell them anything, they'll believe it. But a years later, when they actually grow up, they kind of look at it and be like, bro, we don't even think you believe in the devil. You're just dressing up red, in this red thing just for stupid reasons because you probably got paid a million dollars to perform at Rolling Loud. Somebody told me y- Yachty did some shit like this recently. Is that true? Yachty not on some devil shit, is he? 
Listen, I get it. Everybody wants to be cult counterculture. There's no utility for none of this stuff. There's no utility. And, and somebody says daddy issues. Not daddy issues. It's counterculture. You make it seem like you're edgier. Like people have been always fascinated with success. That's why you see a lot of YouTube channels building videos or, or building their success off saying anyone who made it took an oath. Because you want to. Remember the Juice World used to do that too. Remember like they had like the one video and it was like Bibby that was like in the background. It was like a, some burning fire in the background. And Juice, Juice World used to do some satanic shit too? Yeah, they, yeah, Juice World. It, like, it was like a video, with like, like, yeah, it was Juice World was always in there. Listen, man, I, I I don't know if he used to. I don't want to put no in there because I love Juice World. I know his fans are sensitive about him, but when he died, they buried him in the church, man. <laughs> they went to a church. Some, some something happened to Uzi. They praying for him. Nobody's saying some devil shit. Okay, <laughs> let's cut it out. <laughs> let's cut it out. I was just was looking at this video and I said, Uzi looks terrifying up close. Look at this shit. The craziest thing is, <laughs> Yo, nigga, you're doing the I want to rock dance while looking at the devil. This is some Halloween shit. Look at this. Look at these gyrations. You can't roll your hip five times, nigga, and then, and then, <laughs> then have a devilish stare. Imagine if that's what the devil was. Imagine one day you in your dream and you see the devil, but the devil is just hitting the I want to rock dance. <laughs> Wouldn't you be like, I see why Jesus effed you up, nigga. I see why you live in hell. You're doing the I want to rock dance, swinging your hips. <laughs> I see why. <laughs> You're right. You look like a zesty undertaker. You, you not going. I see why. I see why Jesus crossed you up and kicked you out of the palace. I see what's going on with you. What is going on here, brother? For you rappers, we're tired of the devil stuff, okay? You got, like, there's no movement right now that the youth is just, like, captivated by in terms of, like, newer music. Like, we're, we're waiting for a new SoundCloud era. Like, Yeet probably has the youngest of that fan base, but it's still piggybacking off an era that passed him. So, all y'all still trying to do the counterculture shit, your, your fans are now young adults who are all looking at you and saying, that's odd. <laughs> okay, well, this is... This is weird. <laughs> you can't do the Tootsie Roll in the devil outfit, bro. <laughs> nah, we not go for that. We not go for that. I ain't gonna lie. I think people are tired of that. <laughs> I remember when Uzi said Uzi. I remember when Uzi said this. <laughs> right now, obviously, uh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. So, let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know. That's up, but I still love you. Hold on, let me explain something to them real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. All right, man. I think kids have grown up. Nobody believes that. Like, yo, dumb shit only works like, <laughs> dumb shit only really works on kids, bro. Like Uzi's a like ask ask anybody who's met Uzi very normal. He's not a devil worshiper. Does he need to say he worships the devil that y'all could tune in? Probably. I think Uzi on the clock. I ain't gonna hold you. I just want to rock was not it. So he need to. It's his hottest song. It's his hottest song in five years. Sonically, it was not. I get it. It, it. That song definitely is the beat featuring Uzi. Like, the beat is the main thing. Like, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, I get it. But it's doing the best it's ever done. Hey, Ak, I put that video in um in uh, VC chat. Is whenever um, it was like G Herbal, Trippy Red, and like Juice World. 
and like they had like all the like they was out like some like backyard like in LA with all the like um like fire candles in the circles and stuff. They was like they was like, Yeah, man, we're about to join the Illuminati. It's called a music video, brother. <laughs> hey. Illuminati ain't real, bro. I believe all these uh, um individuals, you know. They can't control kids no more, man. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like Uzi just looks stupid in the in the devil outfit. You have a hot song, we get it. You dress provocative, but don't act like this some devil shit. You know what I mean? Like stop it. Like who's believing this anymore? Like we're grown, nigga. It's like when your mama used to put you in bed and be like, "Yo, there's a monster under the bed." It sounded good, nigga, till you grew up. Somebody said Uzi fell off. Nah, I, I think Uzi's waiting to have a song like EXO Tour Life, something where he's singing, something where it's just infectious. But he he capitalized off of an era he helped create because SoundCloud rappers basically kind of helped create the TikTok scene, if you ask me. They were making music that were two minute long for short attention, short attention span people and yeah, they moved off SoundCloud to other platforms, but now they moved to TikToks and now it's about dancing. Uzi's always been with the dance and all that type of shit. Uzi capitalizing off of that by making I Wanna Rock. I'm happy for him. Now, what do I think Uzi needs to drop? You need to drop a palette of songs that showcases all the great things he could do musically. You got to drop a song that, you know, he raps a decent amount. You should drop a song or a couple songs doing that. He sings a lot and most of his hits have been singing. Whether we're talking about um, um, money longer, whether we're talking about the way the light way life goes, whether we're talking about all my friends are dead, whether we're talking about um, a lot of his hits, it's singing. So I think he got to find a couple of those. But I think there was conversation that Uzi was not as hot as he was, and he found I want to rock, and people see that number one, he's a legend. But he could still influence the space. He's just waiting for a song. First class say you Discord niggas be saying anything. Why they hate on y'all? Somebody said Cardi surpassed him. Um, I think Uzi's still hot. You know, I think Cardi is in a different lane where Cardi's worth is in. It's like in a Kanye angle of influence. I don't see a lot of artists, and maybe Uzi just so unique, it's hard for people to try to be like Uzi. There's a new generation of people trying to be Cardi. There's not a new generation of artists I see that says, I'm trying to be Uzi. You know why with Cardi, though? Because you got these different pockets of Cardi. Because Cardi went and dropped the music, but you got these different baby Cardi verses because, oh, you heard it from leaks or... Oh, Cardi doing features on other people's homes. And it was like a period of time where Cardi carried a lot of people albums. Mm. And he didn't even drop. And that was before a whole lot of red. Like he carried Tyler Creators. Wait, album. somebody said Yeet is trying to be the new Uzi. I thought everybody's accepted that Yeet was trying to do some Cardi shit. Yeet is trying to be Uzi? I ain't know that. Mm. I think he trying to make I don't be done with whatever. I, I think say. it's a, I think it's a matter of perspective because some would say that you know, and you know, there's some there's some some videos that could kind of lean towards this, but like both of them niggas been chasing each other the whole entire time. They've been they've been lit. I think they it's been competition. Like a, yeah, like I, a Pokemon esque rival relationship. Yeah, definitely, it's been some competition. Yeah, I I definitely believe that. But I think there's one video that speaks to well actually there's two videos in particular that speaks to both of the like character as musicians and like artists like there's a video clip of cardi in like a hotel room talking about how like he gets on people's waves get off their wave and surpass them and leaves them in the dust type thing where's that, that like, video at uh that's one of his early clips like back when he was doing like broke boy type stuff like Ooh. there's a clip where like i don't know if he's in a in a, in a hotel it was like a hotel room where he was talking about like cardi talk all right hold on just give me a topic what was he talking about cardi talks about what uh -huh. Uh, surpassing Party people, feet. getting on Party. a wave, popping waves. It's popular. That's a fact. Hard to say that. And then also, there's a video with um, Uzi, right? Where Uzi was speaking to Zane Lowe, and Uzi was like, um, "I feel like I'm using a bunch of people's tools in like a, a storm, but I don't know how to use them for real." 
Wait, hold on. Is it this? Uh, 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 I was going to support the world shit. Hey, yo, you know I could have never got a job in Atlanta ever in my life, dude. Like, I was bagging groceries. Bro, I, I, tried to, I tried to get a job. I was from bagging groceries Fuck no, to bro. working at this place called H&M. But look, in Atlanta, that's when it first popped off. I was the hottest nigga at that Fire. shit because I was Fair. still in school, Fair. bro. Look, I'm still in school working at H&M. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, nah, this is a, it's the a second one. What's the second one? What's the second one? I don't know, but it's from it's from, from it's from this uh this extent. Oh, this this bitch. bitch! Oh my mama, I don't talk to niggas. Niggas is cancer. Niggas can't say nothing. And niggas look, only niggas can say to me. They can be like, oh, they can. Some niggas can say I changed on them because I thought they was on the same shit I was on, but they not. Or. They was on some shit that I wanted to be on, and when I got on that shit, I got on it, then surpassed them, and they was just lost in the sauce. I'm like, damn, how the fuck you going nigga, you ain't even boring. Nigga, you not even practicing what you preach, my nigga. What the fuck is you doing? You don't